so hello everyone and welcome back to my channel uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, use the melt modifier in 3D Studio Max so here we are in 3D Studio Max so first create a plane and let's create a teapot so I have created a uh, so I have created a plane and a teapot. Now I want to melt the teapot. So first let's apply some material to this. So we have applied material to these two objects. And let's reduce the size of the teapot like this. And after you are done with the creation of the object, select the object which you want to melt. Then go to modifiers, animation, inside this you will find the melt modifier. Click and now you can see the melt modifier is applied. Now in the melt modifier we have uh, these parameters, one is the amount, so that decides how much uh, you want to melt the object, then you have the spread amount. The spreading is basically how the object is going to expand and uh, after melting and then you have these options that is uh, solidity so these options will determine the quality of the melt or the type of melt so you have these options like the ice that is the default you have the glass you have jelly you have plastic you can even go for custom so for the amount you can uh, set a value between 0 to 1000 and for the spread you can set a value between 0 to 100 for the custom you can set the value between 0 0.2 to 30 and then you have the axis which you want to melt so let's take the x-axis and try increasing this amount a little bit and see how the object is uh, melting in the x-axis now if I change the axis to y you'll find that the melting is happening in the y-axis and if I take the z-axis it is melting in the z-axis like this so what we have to do is for the animation first of all we have to put on the auto key then uh, move the slider then you can move to any keyframe let's go to 100 and then we have to set the melt amount so we can increase the melt amount like this in case you want uh, the melt the object to melt like a jelly then you can take a jelly option and then you can decide the percentage of spread so I want to spread it a little bit more like this and then put off the auto key so once you play the animation you will see how the object is melting now in the melt you have these options in the melt stack you have the gizmo in the center the gizmo you can select you can scale you can rotate if I rotate it like this and if I scale it a little bit then overall animation is affected see like this and and this you can even set the change the center of this you can shift the center of the melt and accordingly you will find the difference So let's play the animation. So that is how we use the melt modifier in 3D Studio Max. Thank you for watching.